as well. And bear with me, you guys. Okay, can we just take a minute out of the podcast today to talk about this situation in Texas with these ridiculous like giant balloons, these buoys that they put in the middle of the river. Now I've talked lots of times about this show and I've, and I've, I've given you the, the data, the history, all this stuff. The idea that people have to have permission to cross into your country is, is utterly ridiculous. It's completely contradictory to the constitution, the founding fathers, to being a Christian, to respecting others' rights. No one's invading our country except for the politicians and the people that they're sending there to invade our rights, the police, etc. And so I, I just have to kind of talk about this, the unmitigated stupidity of the people in charge in Texas. Um, because Texas went out and they made this Governor Abbott Governor and his, his fellow buffoons and unveiled a new tool to secure the border. A new tool. It's a floating barrier. A, a floating barrier. Floor. Okay. So they took these giant, ridiculous buoys. Let me switch this over and just and just show you this. Today, Governor Abbott signed a series of border security bills. Right. Border the security bills mean stealing your money border. by it's force. Here's him with all these blue ISIS found. friends. Now, border security, actual border security will be stopping an invasion of like an army trying to invade your territory, right? That's not a problem in the USA at the moment. There's no army. There's no invasion. It doesn't exist. And all of these all of these people, these poor people trying to cross into the US because get this, we're a country that makes propaganda and movies saying how great the US is and everybody wants to come there. And then when the poor people cross half the continent to come there, hoping that the story is true, we treat them like crap. And frankly, I'm just, I'm just sick of it. And this is not some left-leaning thing. The founding fathers were outraged by the idea that, that anybody that immigrated here would have to be documented. When this first happened, it was, it was an outrage to the founding fathers. That's not what we fought for. The tangled razor wire lining the river in okay, so now let me just turn the sound off on this, the narration. I just want to show you guys. I've been down on the border, right? I recommend that if you want to enter the U.S. without papers, that you go to the Canada side and then work your way down, do it in the summer, because Can Canadians are much more welcoming to Mexicanos. And maybe you'll like Canada and stay there if you want to go north to work. Uh, but don't tolerate this crap from Texas, the, the, the people on either side. These guys, these Border Patrol agents are just terrorists. They're spending millions of, of people's money to put these buoys in to the river. Why? To kill people to help increase, to make them more afraid. You have the right to swim across the river. There's nothing legal about any of the immigration restrictions. They're all a violation of the 10th Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, all kinds of other amendments in the US Constitution, okay? So the federal government has no authority whatsoever to restrict immigration and the state government idiots of texas and their blue isis thugs that have egos a mile high and think that they alone define freedom when it's actually one of the most fascist states in the u.s they don't get to define it either in so much as it violates the individual rights of others so they're putting up these giant buoys in the middle of the river Obviously, it's not going to work. I mean, the idea, I always laugh when I see people that are so brainwashed by their party that they're like, oh, yeah, build the wall, build the wall. I'm like, you realize places like Berlin build a wall. Countries that want to lock you into your country build a wall. I've showed you guys the infrastructure at the border leaving the country. There's these narrow winding roads exactly like they had in Germany to keep people from escaping that you have to go through like this. It's set up to be able to close it off from leaving. Once you get to the Mexico side, the border's open. You can just drive right in. Sure, there's some infrastructure there. There's some people there, but Mexico's border is a very porous, almost open border. And you don't even, you don't even get stopped most of the time when you go into the Mexican border. So it's not like you have to get permission to enter Mexico. Technically, you're supposed to get a visa. Although actually, if you're within about 50 miles of the border, there's really, it's kind of a free zone and you can just hang out there. Okay, that's another topic. But here's what happened next. And this is what I love. Here's what I love about Mexicanos is they saw that Mexico, in, in genius, Governor Abbott in his profound intelligence spent millions and millions of taxpayer dollars to, to litter the river with giant buoys that make it more risky and more likely that people will drown trying to swim in the river 
because it's hard to get across them. So what did the Mexicans do? What does it say? What does it say? Let's, let's take a look at this little short right here. Let's look at this. All right, here's what they did. They took a trampoline and they put, they put some buoys on it so it would float and then they can just jump over the asinine buoys that the stupidity <laughs> that the stupidity that is government littered the river with. They shouldn't even be allowed to put this crap in the river, right? They're just polluting the river. Um, but yeah, what did the Mexicanos do? They, they put barrels and made a floating trampoline so they could jump over. Thank you. Thank you to all the, the, the Guatemalans, Mexicanos. Most of them aren't actually Mexicanos. Most of the Mexicanos do not want to go to the USA. They know it's BS. Sometimes they want to go there to work and make some extra money because the wages are higher. But Mexico is not really a poor country on the national scale. Most of the people that are going up are actually migrating up from Guatemala, from Honduras, places like that. And what's happening is this, this propaganda crap, this racism is even trickling down. The US is spending so much on this propaganda and paying, bribing Mexican politicians to then abuse people at their southern border. It's of course easy to cross over into Mexico if you're coming from Guatemala or something like that, but they do abuse them more and they're trying to increase the racism here against people from other countries. And I see the ignorant people on, on Facebook and stuff like that that are from Mexico. Literally, they think they're being intelligent, like, oh, they're taking our jobs. And I'm like, dudes, you're literally just repeating the phrases of idiot rednecks from the United States and you don't even realize it. So like, we can't let that ignorance come to Mexico and be the norm either. But thank you to those who resist immigration policies all over the world. I just wanna take a moment to say that. Thank you to those who, who not abusing others, not trying to extort others, but that help people get across the Underground Railroad, that help people cross borders without papers, that help people get across rivers safely, that hide people in their homes to protect them from immigration control terrorists, whether those terrorists are, are Israeli officials, whether those terrorists are Australian officials, whether those terrorists are US officials. Those who kidnap and lock people in cages for trying to travel and work and get jobs, but they've hurt no one, are criminals. They're terrorists. They're the lowest cockroaches of society. And it's time society started exposing them as such. So that's what I have to say on the giant, ridiculous river boobs that the idiots in Texas put in the river. Hashtag river boobs.